بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن نبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah the compassion the merciful Indeed all praise is for Allah we praise him, we seek his help and forgiveness, and we seek refuge of him from the evil of ourselves and from the wickedness of our deeds. Let me welcome you to this new episode of the major signs of the hour. And we've already covered the coming of Al-Mahdi, the coming of the false messiah, Antichrist, or the Dajjal, and the descendants of Isa, the son of Mary, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him and Gog and Magog. So there have been four signs that we have covered. Now we're covering some, the rest of the major signs. I hope I do cover these in this episode because they are short and there's not much of details about them in the ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam, but they're so significant. To begin with, we have three landslides. As uh, of course, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam said, According to Hudayfa ibn Usaid, may Allah be pleased with him, who said in a hadith that was reported by a Muslim in his own authentic book, the sa'a will, or the hour will not rise until you see ten signs. And he mentioned among them three landslides, a landslide in the east, a landslide in the west, and a landslide in the Arabian Peninsula. Actually, landslides that uh, have been done in the past, but on a little minor scale, not on a major scale, because this is going to be on a so high magnitude that it will be felt and people will realize that indeed so much has happened which has not happened before. And um, obviously, earthquakes, and the, and the landslides that may take place here and there on a small scale is actually, so much of it is a sign, but a minor sign of the hour, not a major sign like these three. And uh, of course, they will be uh, at the end of time when there's so much disobedience of Allah and when uh, the wicked and evil works of people is so widespread and therefore, these three uh, landslides will take place. I'll go to the second one, which is number six. Now, these three could be like considered three as of the ten signs, the major signs. We already talked about four before, and now these are three, so it's seven. Number eight is the beast. Now, the beast of the earth is actually one of the signs, and it will be coming out. And it will talk to people, it will address people, because we are not used to having animals, real animals, talk to us. Don't think about technology and how computers can, can uh, produce uh, to us uh, like we are creating nowadays these, you know, machines that do uh, take to us robots and, and what have you. What we are after is real beasts, real animals that will, and, and it's, this is a, a one uh, that indeed has been mentioned in the glorious Quran. Everyone will be able to speak with this particular beast because she will be addressing everyone. And Allah says, when the real truth and saying will be put to, um, to action or to execution, we will bring out to them a beast from the earth which will be talking to them that verily people were not believing in Allah's signs and, and verses. They did not firmly believe in Allah. لا يقينون. And uh, of course, this is uh, towards the end of time. And uh, of course, if that happened, then actually it is about the end of time as the uh, Prophet, peace be upon him, is reported by Abu Hurairah 
in the Sahih of Muslim, as he said, three, that if they would come out, no belief or no faith of a particular soul will help if she has not uh, believed before or even attained some good in that faith which are the rising of the sun from the west and the Dajjal and the beast of the earth. So this beast will come out um, and in fact she will be marking people with, on their noses with a mark and they will be even so many that uh, if a man would buy something from another man, a camel for example, he will say, from whom did you buy this? And he would say, well, from one of these that have marks on their noses. So that is indeed how much this would be and she will mark uh, the non-believers. However, the believers will be marked by beautifying and glowing their faces with, uh, with Iman. She will clear their faces from any extra hair and uh, it will be shining with, with faith, alhamdulillah. And uh, people would even at that time would, might be sitting together and everyone will say to the other, you are a believer and the other one would say, you are a disbeliever because of what the, this animal will do to people as she will actually talk to them and she will mark the believers and non-believers at that time. Now, what type of animal is that? Well, we don't know whether this is from the camels, from any other kind of, of beast because there have been so many sayings and really no one knows for sure you know what type of an animal that is except that it is a beast of the earth that will come before the hour and it will be coming according to the hadith from Mecca from even the sacred masjid of Allah so that is a warning and um, you know the ultimate knowledge is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but uh, she is a very huge beast and uh, she will uh, in fact uh, divide people and mark them as, as we already said. So that is about the beast. Let's talk about uh, the sign which is the, uh, the smoke. Now the smoke is a sign and there are two types of smokes by the way because one smoke which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran it could also indicate that this was during the time of the Prophet peace be upon him when the Qurashite people did not believe in the Prophet peace be upon him and he said well wait until the heaven will bring a clear smoke where it will be covering people with severe punishment and um, this was a warning and it did happen, by the way, when this probably was during the earlier times in the battlefield which, were, which took place between the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the, um, the non-believers of Mecca. And, of course, it could be this smoke is one of the signs that have not come and will be coming before the hour. That is most probably because there was the earlier smoke which came actually in the beginning as we said during the time of the Prophet peace be upon him and the second one will be coming at the end of time. There's not much of uh, explanation about the, uh, the smoke except that it is one of the major signs of the hour and the Prophet peace be upon him uh, warned us against that sign by saying Badiru bil a'mali sitten and he mentioned among them at the Jal and at Dukhan, you know, hasten into doing uh, good deeds before six things happen to you. And he mentioned among them the coming of the Dajjal or the false Messiah and the smoke at Dukhan. I think we've covered so far eight and we still have two. And we'll talk about the completion of this series after we take a break. So please don't go away. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. Now that uh, we were talking about the, the beast and the smoke, 
We still have two more signs to go before we complete these theories. And uh, indeed, something that uh, we need to address before I give you uh, some concluding remarks regarding the signs of the hour. Obviously, the sun will rise from the west. And this is one of the great signs because it's reversing the natural system uh, of how the world operates according to the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says in the glorious Quran, يَوْمَ يَأْتِي بَعْضُ آيَاتِ رَبِّ لَا يَلْفَعُ نَفْسًا إِيمَانُهَا لَمْ تَكُنْ آمَنَتْ مِنْ قَبْلُ أَوْ كَسَبَتْ فِي إِيمَانِهَا غَيْرَ خَيْرًا When uh, some of the verses or signs of your Lord would come, that uh, nothing would be helping, or no iman or no faith would help any soul, uh, that it was not a believer before, or even gain some good from its belief. So, believe and righteous deeds are the ones that will protect a person from falling into the trap of these major signs. And uh, of course, before the end of time, as we know, when the sun rises from the west, it would, the repentance door, the door of repentance will be closed. There's no more opportunity for a person to repent and to, uh, in fact, uh, come back to Allah or to say that I can believe. And now is the time when we have this warning ahead of us, as the ayah would say, that um, of course uh, the, there's a, a great hadith reported by Abu Dhar radiallahu ta'ala an, who said that uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, one day, do you know where the sun would go? They said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said, well, this sun goes to its own destiny uh, under the um, arsh, under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it will go down in prostration, in sujood, and uh, it will stay like this until it will be set, stand uh, up or raise uh, yourself and go back to where you have come from. And then it will be going back again, rising from its place, meaning the east, and then it will run and move until it goes back to its own destiny and place um, under the throne. And then it will go down in sujood and it will do like this until it will be set, stand up from and return to where you come from. And uh, it will do the same and then nothing will happen. It will be the same system every day. The sun will go and follow the same which is, by the way, an evidence that the sun keeps on moving. You know, it does not stop. It's, this is part of the solar system, as, as science has told us. But then, um, when it comes the last time, it will be set, you know, in the, mor in the morning, you come from where you set in the evening. So it will come from the west rather than from the east every time. And then the Prophet wasallam said, do you know, when is this? They said, no. Um, he said, that is when no faith will help a soul that it was not a believer before or has gained good in its faith. So that is the, indeed the sign and that is a time when all of the deeds will cease and all of the faith, if no one has to believe and has not worked righteousness, it will not help a person. And um, of course, that is before the, uh, the day when only true believers and true doers of good will actually be seeing uh, the real sign, just like this sign plus the other signs. And uh, as an evidence of this, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was reported in Al-Musnad by Imam Ahmad. He said that um, hijra or migration from the land of disbelief to the land of belief um, will not stop until the tawbah has ceased to be accepted and the tawbah's door will be open until the sun will rise from the west. And if that happens when the sun rises from the west, every heart will be sealed with what is in it and people will stop working. There is no more of doing deeds because 
That is the end of time, and people will be just stopping there where, when this happened, because as we know, the world is coming to an end there, and as the, uh, as the, the system is reversed, it is coming towards the end. Obviously, we need to uh, take advantage of what we're doing and repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before that comes. Uh, you never know when this might come because no one knows if these things happen and one after the other. And uh, if we die even before we're given the opportunity to make even tawbah because of course a person will have the door of repentance open except when a person is actually, you know, still alive. But when his soul is being coming through his neck and his mouth and gargling with it, that's the end of it. There is no point. There is no repentance that would be accepted of the person in those moments. So that is uh, another uh, sign of the Day of Judgment. And let me get you into the last one. This was number nine. And let me get into number 10, the last sign, which is the fire that will drive people into the land of assembly, the land of their gathering before the start of the hour and the rising of the day of judgment. This huge fire will come and it is the last thing that will come and it is the first signs that would tell us that the hour is going to happen because all of the major signs have come and the last thing is a fire and this fire is going to come from inside the sea of Hadramaut or Aden, Aden in Yemen, in the Arabian Sea, um, as it was reported in some ahadith, Hudayfa ibn Usaid said that uh, the Prophet sallallahu said the last of this would be, meaning the signs of the hour, would be a fire that will come out from Yemen and it will be driving people to their own assembly. Now, where is this assembly going to be? It is going to be in the land of Sham or greater Syria. In fact, it will be into the place where Abraham, peace be upon him, actually migrated to in the beginning, which is to what we know today, Al-Khalil. Al-Khalil is a city uh, named after the Prophet Ibrahim, Al-Khalil, because he was so beloved and so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actually, there's nothing that will happen after that from the major hours um, and people will be actually three groups as they are driven by that fire. It will be collecting people as it goes up from Yemen and moving to places where it will gather and collect people, uh, driving them to the land of greater Syria. Now greater Syria as you know included Palestine, Jordan, Syria and Lebanon. That is greater Syria or the Sham area as we call it. These groups are one group that are so, you know, interested in this and they, they have no objection to it and they are riding, by the way. Another group that are walking and riding and they, they would be um, only having camels to ride. Some of them will be on two camels or one camel or three and a camel, up to ten and a camel who will be coming one after the other riding on it because there are not enough camels around and a third uh, group that will be uh, actually driven by fire which is going to surround them from all sides and it will drive them to this and whoever is late or does not walk and does not leave the fire will eat that person so and will destroy them and they will be burned by by that fire and um, you know it, it is uh, subhanallah so frightening to see all these signs and um, we know that uh, this comes to towards the end of time and may Allah forbid us from being victims of these signs or even coming to near that because when this comes obviously some small signs might come here and there 
because of, uh, you know, even after the major science, but these are small signs such as the destruction of the Kaaba and the uh, sacred masjid in Mecca and the upliftment of the glorious Quran. The glorious Quran will be uplifted as well and uh, because no one, you know, at that time it was, was working or in fact taking the guidance of the glorious Quran. And also at the end when, when the hour comes, there would be no one who will say La ilaha illallah. They would not even remember this word. So that brings us to the end of the time, brings, bringing us to the, uh, all these uh, major signs that we have covered already, plus the minor signs we've mentioned in the first of these episodes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to uh, learn about uh, all these, because that is part of our faith, that's part of the knowledge that has been given to us by our uh, beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in order to be uh, merciful to us, to tell us about what will happen. And these prophecies have been fulfilled by the grace of Allah. Some of them we have already seen, some are still continuing, and some, when they come, um, the last ten, um, which are the major uh, signs of the hour, they will come like, when, like beads being cut from their string, and they will fall one after the other. So may Allah protect us and may Allah give us the knowledge and instill in our hearts the Iman to worship Him and to keep on His straight path. And inshallah with more series, I'd like to leave you here and ask Allah forgiveness for any mistake that I have made and may He subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us on the straight path until we meet Him when He's so pleased with us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, oh, oh.